Okay. So this is week eight. Uh, we are going to move into out of repetition structures and into methods. So we're going to start breaking our programs down up to this point. We've been shoving everything into the main. That's not good. That's not good programming. We want to break our program down into parts. And these parts are called methods or we can break it down into a function. I think I, I define function as just a method that returns a value. Okay. The main that we've been using is just a special type of method that all of our programs will have. But that doesn't mean we have to do all the work inside of it. We're going to have these methods as of today. Uh, the minimum, I would think, uh, in any program you do for me from now on, should have at least three to, I'm going to say four. The main, your inputs, your process, your outputs. That would be uh, at a minimum, okay, as far as methods go. And again, the, the best thing about methods is one, they're easy to they're easier to debug. Okay. If there's a problem, you're gonna see as we build it tonight. Uh, if one of the building blocks, the methods is bad, we'll know it right away and be able to go right to that method to uh, correct the problem. The second thing good about them is it makes our code reusable easier. In other words, if I write a method that uh, calculates the tensile strength of steel for one program. And then six months from now, I need another, uh, I have another program that needs that. I can just go get that method and pop it into my new program, okay? So reusability is another thing, okay? Reusability. In other words, once I have it working, why would I wanna reinvent the wheel? Okay. Um, yeah. So tonight we are going to look at uh, hush. You guys stop. Sorry. No, there's nobody out there. Hey, get up there. It's over. Jasper, go. Sorry, guys. They're very protective. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. We're going to go. Let's go over here. So well, here's our lesson eight. Okay. And we're going to jump over to here. And I only gave you two, um, two assignments. And in fact, we're going to do this check password one in class tonight. And then you're going to do the credit card one on your own. Okay. What I can tell you about the credit card one is that uh, it does work. It can tell you whether or not the credit card has a valid number. It can't tell you whether or not they have any credit or anything, <laughs> you know, or if it's even still a good credit card. But if it was an original credit card issued by uh, American Express, Visa, MasterCard, any of those, uh, this program that you're gonna write, uh, the instructions are in the book, uh, will test that credit card and tell you whether or not that's a valid credit card number or not, okay? The other thing we have here is I created this, uh, how to write a menu, okay? And you're gonna see that tonight. And uh, this one here is just a stub in, okay? By that, I mean, it will print out display one, display two, display three, or one, two, three. Uh, and it runs until the user um, decides to quit, okay? So that's a little example there. Uh, but like I said, we are gonna write one in class tonight to do the same thing with our password program. Okay, any questions? So these will be due next week. I think the 16th is, yeah. 
Tuesday by then. And like I said, if you get it done before then, you won't have anything else, uh, any other program to do. Do you want to practice programming while you're off? I would think so. You don't want to forget what you've learned. So let's jump over here to NetBeans. Uh, if you're sharing, trying to scare, share your screen, it's not really showing. It's not showing? Uh-oh. How come nobody said anything up until now? Now we got to go back. Why is it not sharing? It should have. All right. So nobody noticed that and then, Doug, we can't see what you're looking at. Anyway, well, now you can go to the Blackboard on your own and uh, look at what I was just explaining, I guess. So we're gonna do our, uh, a new project as always. It's in Java Ant. Are you seeing me now? Yes. Yep. Thank you. Who was that that told me that? That would be me. Uh, you're going to send me an email and you're going to get extra credit, all right? OK. All right. So this will be called uh, la, 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 the Acme Password Checker. All right, we'll just pop right there. And we got a little project. And it's the Acme password checker. And this will be Acme password, oops, dot Java. Date today is already three nine. Holy cow. One and the author will be you. And the purpose to validate whether a pass user password meets certain criteria. Okay. Must be at least eight characters. Again, you don't want to limit them to eight, but it must be at least eight. And then must contain a minimum of one alphabetic character. And it must contain a minimum of one digit. and must contain a minimum of one special character. Okay. And I'm gonna change this one digit. We'll make this just one letter. That's pretty simple. Eight characters, one letter, one digit, one special character. that'll work. So we'll get rid of all this excess baggage here. Bring down our braces because why? Because I like the way it looks then. And you'll see that my little um, dividers here are going to become more and more important. 
avoid means it doesn't have a data type. And um, some methods have data types. If you want it to return something, it has to have a data type, okay? We are gonna get data from the user, so we're gonna have to import a uh, Java utility. And see how long I have to wait, see if I can crash this thing. There we go. And wow, I didn't crash it. All right. So we're going to have something. Um, we're going to have a char called again. And I'm going to make it a Q. And then we'll do a do. Because remember, our programs have to at least run one time and they should run until the user wishes to stop. So this will be while we want to keep looping while again is not equal to a character Q. Okay. So we've got our initialization here. We've got our test here. We don't have an incrementation. So we need to do that. So we'll put system.out.println or print, print, uh, press y or no. Do I even need that? No, we're not going to put that in right now. Let's go up here and we'll have again being equal to show menu parentheses parentheses. So what this is, is we're calling a method. Okay. And whatever that method does is going to be stored in again. So down here, outside of the main, I'm going to do another divider. And this one's going to be a char. It's going to return a char. And it's called show menu. And it'll say private static char show menu. And you're going to have an error there because we haven't returned anything yet. And so then it's going to be system out dot print. Um, yeah. And we'll say slash n. And then slash n. And I don't know several of those. And this will say Acme password checker. And then slash n. And then we'll just copy however many I have here. Control C. Pop them in there. Okay, so there's my header. Oops. Oh, no, how many did I? I got to undo that. Okay, and then here, 
And then we'll have, um, how about this, R. One, and then we'll have a T. And then we'll have a Q. And then we'll have Think that'll work. Oops, what happened there? I'm missing something. Oh, my closing parentheses. There we go. All right. Okay, so now I need to get, I got my scanner here, but I haven't instantiated it. Now I might need my scanner in more than one method. So instead of putting it in the main, I'm gonna put it up here. Inside the class, but outside the main. And I'm just gonna make it this, I'm gonna say, oops private, static, final, uh, because it's now it's a final, it's a, a constant. And then I can use it anywhere in this class. Oh, what do I got wrong here? Private, static, final. Oh, scanner. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Make sure you save every once in a while. So now I can come down here and say, uh, char choice is equal to um, user con dot next dot to upper dot char at zero is correct. So again, what this is gonna do, I don't care what they type. I'm gonna pick off the first letters. So if they type run, I'll get the R. If they type test, I'll get the T. If they type uh, cat, I'll get the C. I don't need a C, I need a Q. There we go. They can type whatever they want. All I'm doing is picking off the first letter. And then I'm gonna return that to the program where it was called from. I always go back to where I left from. You never wanna leave your program in the middle of the program. So now whatever I press, hopefully an R, T, or a Q will come back to here, okay? So I'm gonna prove that it'll work, hopefully, by printing it out. And again. 
and then I'm going to save. And you should be able to run your program. See how bad our banner is. Uh, it's a little bit off. But if I type R, okay, it prints the letter R. If I type a T, it prints the letter T. If I type a Q, it types the letter Q, et cetera. It'll print anything right now, okay? Why is it, I didn't equip with a Q though. Q, I'll do this, da, da, da. It's kind of weird, huh? Mine won't run. Hang on a second. Mine won't stop running. That's weird. So if I type a Q here, oops. Oh, it quit. I'm sorry. All right. Whose won't run? Mine. Okay. So. You should be able to share your screen with us. Okay. You got your prior. Hang on. Just. Slowly, slowly, slowly. User con, da da da. Okay, and you get char. Do show menu. Da, 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 da. I'm print again. Da da. While scroll down. Down down next. Da, da, da. I don't see. Scroll down farther. Okay, I don't see why it shouldn't run. Run it. Try running it. Oh. You got something running is what's wrong. Okay. So you need to stop whatever you got running. Uh, Down at the bottom, you have a program running. If you turn it off, it should let you run your program then. I don't see a program. Okay. Then it's, oh, go back to, you have an output that's on down at the bottom. You should have all the way down, not in the, not in the window, down at the bottom of your screen. Something's running. Go to run up in the menu then. Click on it. Okay. No. Try debug. Let's see what they get. No, up, up. I can't debug it. Okay, you got you got something running right now. Your program is running, or a different program you were working on. Here, stop sharing, and I'll show you how to turn it off. Okay, down here in your output, this red light's on, click on it. I don't have an output. Okay, over about where I'm at right here. Here, I'll run this thing. You got this running down here? Nope. Then why is your program not? What do you got over here in this tray? Uh, I don't even have the tray open. Open it. How do I open the tray? You click right here under pro and then it'll bring up project. Should he reset his windows uh, like at the top? Under the know. window panel? Right here, dude. Go here and hit reset windows. And now you should have a project window over here. All right. 
what's open over there? Uh, the only like file that's actually open is the password checker. Hmm. He can just right click on his uh, program and just click run file and it should run no yeah. matter what. Okay, right here. Just click out here and hit run file. <laughs> yeah, it should work. Yes, no. Okay. But those things are the things that you should be able to find. So you're good now? Yep. All right. Okay. You always want to, when you start running these multiple times, if you don't hit quit, you'll have this running tray down here, like mine's running right now. I either have to go over here to output and click on here or I could come in here and type my Q in to close it. And then you'll notice this tray goes away down here. Okay. So now we have this coming back and we know it's coming back because we printed it, right? All right. So we need to break this down into parts, right? So now what I wanna do is I want to get the uh, the user input for password, right? For the password. So I'm going to go here and say um, string password is equal to get password. It's going to scream at me because there is no get password yet. So I'm going to come down here. And the password is a string. And the name of the method is get password. Scroll across. And then it'll be private, static, string, get password. And we can just say here uh, that system. And then we can say so we're going to get it assign it to a variable and send that back up. So right here, we'll check that it gets back up there by putting system out dot print line and then password. And again, these this variable here is only good from right here to right here. That's all. This variable here is good from here to here. This variable here is good from right there to right there. This variable right here is good from right here to right there. That's their scope. So now I'm gonna check that. So now if I come here, and I say, oh, wait, how am I going to do that? Hang on, I got it messed up there. Okay, so now I got that. Don't worry about this for right now. Because I need, 
we need a switch in here. So I got a switch based on again. And then we should stub it in, okay? So the first one will be case and it'll be R. And now we can move this inside there. Tab, 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 tab. All right, so then it would print out our password and then so if I type an R, that's good. All right. And then we'll stub in the other selections. So we're going to go here and then we'll have case T. And then we can just put here system.out.print line test is here. Now we need our break. Don't forget, ever forget your break and a switch. So this will be a break here. And this will be a break here. And then we'll stub in our, well, this one we can finish real quick. We'll say case Q. And we'll have system.out.print line. That like that. And then we can put default. We'll put a slash N in there. And then only R, T, and Q are valid entries. Do that. Let's put a slash N here. So that moves that down one when we go to quit. That'll work. So now we should be able to run it. Again, my program's running, so it won't let me do that. So I have to come over here and just do, yes, I want to quit. And then I save and then I run it again. All right, so if I type in an R, it says enter your pa password. It don't matter at this time. Then it comes back to here. If I type a T, it says test is here. If I type an X, it says only R, T, and Q are valid. If I type a Q, it says thank you for using Acme's password checker. And why am I? Oh, I forgot my break again. See that? So I'm going to come back over here and right underneath this. There needs to be a break. Ooh. There we go. So make sure you've adjusted to that right there. And I think I'll move it all in a little bit here. There, that looks better. So I can see my switch goes from here to there. 
there to there, there to there, there to there, there to there. My two other methods are down there. Private just means that they can only be seen, anything that's private can only be seen in this class. Public means it can be seen by other files if it's public, okay? All right, so you need me anywhere? I mean, I'll put this up for a second and get a drink while you guys are catching up if you're. I have a question. Yes. Um, so I'm wondering why our switch, I mean, I haven't read the chapter, I haven't read the chapter yet. Um, I'm just wondering why our switch couldn't be under if the point you're saying that we shouldn't be filling in the main. Can a switch? Well, the main is controlling everything. The main, okay, but we don't want to over flood it. Right. But the switch is, I mean, it's where you control stuff from. So we're controlling all the rest of the program through the main. Could you put it somewhere else? Sure, if you wanted to. Yeah, you can control, you can call methods from other methods. Again, the one, what you don't want to do is just leave your program. If it starts in the main, it should end in the main, okay? You don't want to go here, for example, and exit out of your program from any place but the main. You should always exit from the same, the place where you start. And then in these, you go in, you come back out, and you go right back to where you left from. Okay? But that's a good question. You always leave and you come back. You don't leave and not come back. All right, so we got our password now. One of the, what's the first thing we wanna do? Okay, let's see if it's at least eight characters. So we're gonna call this, um, we're gonna make a list here. Let's do this. In fact, let's see, that's fine. So outside of here, or do I, can I put it inside of there? I think I can put it inside. Let's try this. We're gonna say Boolean is length, like that, is equal to, uh, We'll call it valid length. And then I have to send the password with it. Okay, so I'm gonna send a password to a method. It's gonna check its length and then it's gonna return whether or not that is true or false. Okay, so down here, we'll do this. And it's a Boolean. And uh, what I have it as valid length, was it? Yep. Valid length. And then this will be private static. Boolean and valid length. And then I need a string and we'll just call it word. So this calls this and it has this argument stored here. And then this gets passed down do 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 and put into here. 
They're not the same pad, they're not the same variable, but they contain the same thing at that point. Okay. So now we will say here, um, we will say Boolean is valid is equal to false and we'll say if word dot length is greater than or equal to eight then Uh, is valid is valid is equal to true and then outside here we can put return is valid So then this takes that and it sends it back up to right here and it puts it in here. So now we can see we'll do system dot out dot print line and uh, is length. And so I can type in here, run it. And if I type an R, whoops, I typed it up there. Don't want to do that. Type an R here. It says, what is your password? And I'll type password for now. And you can see here, my password is in fact, eight characters long. So I can run it again, just to make sure. And I'll type in XXX this time, hit enter and it'll say that my password is false. Okay, it's not eight characters long and then I can quit. Where did I type that R? There it is, I knew I typed it in there. Okay, make sure I save that. So I got my password, I got my menu. I have my password now. I've checked its length. Next thing up is I need to check that it has a letter in it, okay? So we're gonna go here and we're gonna say Boolean is alpha is equal to valid alpha send down the password okay scroll down boolean uh, valid alpha private boolean, oops, static boolean. And it's a uh, valid alpha and we can call it whatever we want. I could call it dog if I wanted to, wouldn't make, it, it wouldn't be a meaningful password though if I called it dog. And once again, I'll say boolean is valid equals false. Then I need to do four 
um, int count is equal to zero, count is less than the word length count plus plus. Because I got to check every letter to make sure at least one of them is an alphabetic character or, or a letter. Okay. So then if um, word dot uh, no, no, that's not one I want if character dot is letter then uh, word dot char at count. Then is valid is equal to true. And then I don't need an else. All I need is a return somewhere here. Let's see, that's inside my loop. So this would be up here, enter. And it would be a return is valid like that. Make sure your return isn't inside the loop. <laughs> Again, indentation, right? That goes there. So this could all be indented a little farther, I think. There we go. Then this is in there and this is inside of that, which is good because this runs from here to here. This one goes with that. And then this one, of course, is outside in the, uh, the class. Oh, so I missed what you did up at the uh, main for this part. Yep, I got you right here. And then we'll print it out. We'll say system dot out dot print line is alpha. And then I run it and I'll type an R here to run it and I'll make my password two, three, four. And it says, oh, it's not eight characters and it doesn't have a alpha, an alpha letter. Run it again. I do uh, XXX, or no, let's do Doug. And it says, up. Oh, it's not eight characters, but it does have an alphabetical letter. If I type in password, oops, I can't do that. I got to do a run first and then type in password. It says true and true. It's eight characters long and it does have an alphabetic uh, character. So I've checked it all and it works up to this point. Everybody's working up to this point. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cool. Yep, mine's working. Sweet. Okay, so we got that one. So now, next one's pretty simple. We got is digit is equal to valid digit, send the password, and then we'll might as well type the system dot out dot print line, oops, 
is digit. And then we can go down and this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of this, control C, come down below it, control V it, Hang on a second, I need to take a call. Hang on a second. You're muted. He's taking a phone call. Sorry about that. That was a fire department, so I had to take it. All right, so this needs to be fixed here. Oh, stop it. So this should be is the valid digit. And this should say digit. Isn't that the one for your letters? We did the one for the letter right here. Oh, I didn't see you copy it. Yeah, I copied it and pasted it down here. And then this one will say is digit. These are on page 130 of your book. How to do this. So it's way back in chapter four, you were supposed to learn these. Uh, is digit is digit. Yeah, it's on page 130, I believe. It's got a loop here, a loop here. All right, so now I'm going to run it and see if it happens or what happens. So if I type an R here, put in the password, a password, it says true, it's eight characters. True, it has alpha, but false. It has no digits. So now if I type in an R here and I type password two, I get it's eight characters at least. It uh, does have an alphabetic letter and it does have one uh, or at least one digit. 
I mean, again, this password could be, if I type an R here, I could type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine X, and it'll pass, right? Because it's at least eight characters. It has one alphabetic uh, letter, and it has, a, of course, it has digits. So that would pass our criteria, and so it would be a valid password. Next one. Can you scroll back down towards the bottom real quick? I think yeah. I missed uh, something. Okay, all I did is I copied our letter one, pasted it in, changed that to digit there, that to digit there, and that to digit there. I'm getting uh, an error. Is that okay if I share my share my screen? Yeah, uh... please do. Oh, I got to stop sharing though. No? There you go. Okay, we can almost see it on my screen. It's very small. <laughs> Hang on a second. What do I got going here? Why is my screen so small? That's kind of bizarre. All right. Let me run that. Let's see what happens. Whoop, failed. Scroll up. Uh, up towards the very top? Yep. Okay. Okay, stop. Was it working up until this one? It was, yep. This digit, da, 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 password. Or this digit. Breaks there. Hmm. I don't see the air there. Scro start scrolling down. If you see it, make sure you tell us, everybody. Because it keeps going. Keep going. I'm guessing it's way down at the bottom. Maybe not. No. So you got is digit. Valid digit. Ding ding. No, it is false. Da, 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 da. I don't see any errors. Oh, okay. So let's do this. Up in the main menu, under run. I think I see the error. It's, Where is uh, it? It says count, like, for the for loop. I think there's a plus one. I think that's what it says. Okay, go plus up. Plus. Oh, right there. Yeah, it should be plus. Yeah. Oh, plus one is will work. But you no, don't okay. have just like that. Yeah, that's it right there. So try that. Same thing with the one above it. Okay. It'll just be count plus plus. Okay, and then you're getting, hang on. Yeah, you know, crashed again. Okay. Yeah, but you get rid of you got a plus plus one. It's just plus plus. Oh, oops. Try it again. Okay. What I want you to do is go up to the where it says run up at the top, way at the top and go down to clean and build, clean and build, click on it. Uh, okay. That's not good. 
Okay. I'll uh, go clear some files off of there and see if I can uh, get that working. Okay, let's do this. Close that. Over in your project tray, go down to, no, just go down to decimal to binary. Right click it, close it. Do the same to all those, except for the one we're working on. All right. Uh, yeah, try running it. What? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Go ahead and try it again. One more prize compiled there. Uh, do, 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 Try the uh, build again. Run and clean and build. Run, run, run. Oh, sorry. Why does I don't want to do? Are you short on uh, space at all? It's possible. It's a small uh, drive that this program is installed on, so I can uh, uh, run this okay, utility. Try running it again now. I don't see. You got a while loop or something? Mine is too long. Please switch to wrapped mode. Oh, uh, that shouldn't stop it from running, though. It's just saying you got too many equal signs out there going past the red line on the right, is what that's saying. Oh. So just take out a couple equal signs. There you go. And that should disappear. I don't see anything wrong with your code, though. Okay. Try it one more time here, and then you might have to remove some programs or something. Hmm. Did you go back up to the top? Oh, you got more here that are running over the side too. It just says for line twenty-four. That's that's all it says. Oh, okay. Line twenty-four is just a do. It says like colon twenty-four at the end of the Yeah. I'll put that shouldn't uh I mean these are running over in your queue and that. Or I don't know what you got set. That's why those would go past the, the edge there. Hmm. That's weird. I can try uh, running that disk utility thing and seeing if I can uh, clear some space off of my. Uh, okay. Well, just follow thing. along for now and. As far as I can tell, your code is fine. Okay. All right. All right. So stop. There you go. Um, I'm having an error too, but I'm not quite sure why. Okay. Well, hang on. Uh, go ahead and share your screen. Okay. Sharing it right now. Yep. Got you. Okay, full screen. Okay, so you're getting. A... Uh, she has three S's in password for the forty. Oh, there you go, right there, big red, big red line. <laughs> okay. Yep, got it. Thank you. Good catch, right off the bat. All right. All right, so that one should run now. Or it's running. The next one is, um, I've seen people do this certain ways. 
this is the way I would, or you'll see how I'm going to do it. I don't like when the password thing says, okay, you need a special character, but it has to be one of these. Well, no, it doesn't. We'll make ours here. We'll say Boolean is special is equal to valid special. And send down the password again. And then we'll print it out. Our true and false is uh, special. My mom always said I was special. <laughs> All right, and then we're going to go ahead and copy this, control C, and then print it in here, or paste it in here, control V. So now we got that. And so then this is going to read valid special. And this will say valid special here. And down here, this is going to say not. So I'm putting an exclamation point in front of the C here. And then this is going to say not letter or digit. So if it's not a letter or a digit, it has to be what? A special character. Okay. So I'll save that. So now if I run it, type R and I put in, this one was working, password uh, two. It says true, 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 false. Okay, because it doesn't have a special character. I'll run it again and I'll type in password two and then a pound sign or a dollar sign, doesn't matter. And it says true. So now I have a true, 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 true. It has eight characters or more. It has a letter, it has a digit, and it has a special character. Can you show again the is digit or is letter? Yep, I'm going to go down there right now. And again, this was on page 130 of your book. So that is supposed to check for a letter or a digit. But then if I put a not in front of it, it checks to see if it's not a letter or a digit, right? So it could be any type of punctuation. Is there something about digit coming before letter? I have letter or digit. Also, did you use a slash in my, um, my output um, has the password and false right next to each other. I don't know if you put a slash in anywhere. Uh, I did not. You mean up here? Yeah, like after the first output, the password, so it prints out the password. The yeah, false. These should be print lines. I got print LN, print LN. Print okay, LN. thank you. We're going to get rid of all those anyway. We're just going to rem them out. They were for, they're for testing, right? All right, so we got that. So now that we have all those, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna um, type, let's make it show results or something. Show results. And this one is gonna be a void because it's not gonna return anything, but I need to send down the password and I'm going to send down uh, is length. And I'm going to send down is letter. And I'm going to, or is alpha. Why didn't I make that is letter or alpha? And I'm going to send down is digit. 
and I'm going to send down is special. Okay. And after that runs, it'll come back up here and keep going until somebody types a queue. So we'll go down here to put our show results in. So this is going to be a void show results. Bring that across. Be private, static, void, show results. And then it has a string. And we'll just call it word. Then it has a Boolean. And we'll call that um, length or len doesn't matter and then we'll have uh or let's just oh i can't make it long uh let's try length will it air out for that i don't think so okay and then a boolean for a letter and then a boolean for a digit and then a Boolean for special. That'll work. Yep. I got my uh, program working. Good, what was it? I had to clear uh, some space off of my uh, drive and then I uh, uh, restarted NetBeans and then it uh, worked. Worked, after that. great. Yep. That's good news. So now we're going to um, show our results, OK? Whether or not it passed or not. So we'll do system.out.printf. And we'll say. Uh, uh, password check. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let me think here. Yeah, that'll be all right. Password check. And then we'll do uh, slash n. And we can do a slash T and we'll say length is equal to and then the percent sign B for Boolean slash N. And then we'll do a slash T for a letter or alpha. Percent B slash slash N. Then we'll put slash T then uh, digit is equal to percent B. I forgot to put the password there though. Uh, slash N. Up right here, password check for about this validation check for the password and then percent sign S. There we go. And I'm going to put a slash N right there too so it goes down one. So I got that alpha digit, okay, and then T special is equal to percent B slash N. And then we'll put comma and we'll put word length letter word length. 
Reynolds letter digit special. Is there a should is there a reason why my where like where my variable should be turning green? Well, if they're uh, used somewhere else, yeah, they shouldn't be though. Yeah, they're green for some reason. Well, I mean, it depends on where you declared them, and it might be the way you have your. I mean, see mine, like if I click on this one, this one lights up. So it could be just the way you have your uh, net being set up would be the only, I mean, I don't know that they should be green. If they're uh, like, see that one's green, but that's a constant. We'll check it out once we get Okay, and then I need an if. Uh, if word is equal to true and length. Oops, I'm sorry, not word. If length is equal to true and letter is equal to true and digit is equal to true and special is equal to true then enter then we want to do system dot out dot print line or print f and put the word whoops s And sign S is a valid password. And slash N. And then we need an else. Else. System dot out dot print F percent S is an invalid password slash N comma. I'm missing the comma up above too. So right here, comma word. And same thing here, comma word. Comma word. Okay. All right, you got that? Yep. Yep. I'm gonna scroll up and now I'm gonna get rid of, I'm just gonna turn off all these print line things. And that. And then I'm going to run it. And 
Okay, and we'll do an R. And let's put, we'll start out with a valid one, password, pound sign three. And it says validation check for password data. Length is right, alphabet is right, digits right, special is right. Password number three is a valid password, it says. Run it again. And then if I do a, um, uh, let's see, I want an R here. Oh, I already chose it. Password, let's make it uh, Q23 dollar sign. And you can see there that the length is false, but everything else is true. And But it says it's an invalid password, right? So then we'll try it again, just one more time. And then what can we try? Let's see. So the password is going to be password and then um, just a number. And you can see here that it said, no, nope, you're missing the special. So the password is invalid. Okay. So we also want to get rid of this, that it's showing what we're typing in for this. So I'm going to type a Q here. Program quits nicely. I'm going to go up here and we no longer need this line at all. And seems to be working really well. All right. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take all this right here and I'm going to copy it, control C, and I'm going to paste it right here, control V. And Right above here, I'm going to put system dot out dot print line. Testing mode. Check for check if um, Okay, so we do that and then that. And then here where we do all we need to do here is get rid of that and type in password, oops, password pound sign three. So if I run that now, and I type in T for testing mode, you can see testing mode, check of password number three is a valid password. Validation check, true, 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 true. Password number three is a valid password. So there I've got that programmed in. And that's pretty much it. Except down here, we make this a little uh, programmer friendly. We'll just run across here and say, um, no code follows. Run that out. Okay, save it. And then 
compress it and put it in your folder. Could you show um, the last part we just did a second ago? Up, up above or the one down below? Um, case T. Okay, right there. And again, all it was was a cut and paste. And then I just tweaked this part right here. My brake needs to move over. What do you guys think about that? Again, we reuse the code over again, you know, for our test. We didn't have to rewrite it anywhere. I was wondering if I could share my screen real quick. I'm having a problem with the show. Right yeah, now. hang on one second. Let me stop sharing here. All right, go ahead. Okay, so you got something wrong. I saw it down. Show results. Okay, so let's see. Uh, length is length is alpha is digit is special and then password. Okay, so now go up. Uh, stop. Is length is alpha is special. Oh, okay. Now go down all the way to the bottom. Okay, stop. Word, string length, show results. Letter. Letter is showing up in green. Why is that? Yeah, I couldn't find out. It's saying that's a key word. So now make that Boolean, uh, make it uh, just alpha. Change it to alpha. Okay, why is that happening? You need a comma there after length, yeah. Okay, so now change that letter there to alpha. Okay, and that to alpha. Okay, and now try running it. Okay, true, true, false. Okay, now run your test once. You got to stop your program from running. Your, no test is here. You didn't program your test yet? I thought I did. So did I. Hang on, go on up. Your test mode. You typed a T. Run it again. Why did it not? You got two of them running. It's kind of just not letting me. It's not letting me type. Oh, anything. you got. It's working. Test, test, test. You just have an extra line in there. Test is here. Right there, down below, just be above your break, you got an extra line. Right there. Right here. Get rid of that. Yep. That shouldn't be in there. Get rid of it. There you go. It's running fine now. Type a Q. Down below, down below, down below. Yep. Down below. And quit. Yep. Thank you for using password checker. Anybody else? Um, can I see back where uh, your special is on uh, near the bottom? Yeah, uh, Dave, in you gotta get out. Okay, sorry, man. Where do you need me now? Uh, near the Boolean value special. Right there. Yeah. 
Again, don't forget you need this right here to make it work. I think yeah, I forgot about that. Because we want it if it's not a letter or a digit. Anybody else? I love the sound of crickets. Uh, just, no. uh, just another question. Uh, okay. So that uh, that exclamation mark just uh, puts the characters to special characters? No, that just says it's not. Okay. It's not a letter and it's not a digit. So what's left? Hello? Oh, yeah, just special characters like uh, yep. pound sign. Yeah, that's what it means. Because if it's not a letter and it's not a digit, that just leaves the other stuff. Okay, so you got, this is a good example. You got loops. You got a loop up here controlling the whole program. Then you got some loops down here that are checking through the characters. You got a for loop. Notice again, you cannot, when you do this for loop uh, do, 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 do here, you want it's less than word length because let's say my name, okay, say Doug. The length of my uh, name is, is four, right? But the characters of my name are zero, one, two, and three. It never gets to four. If I make this or equal to, uh, the thing's going to crash because that word will never be equal to the length of the word. Do you understand what I'm saying there? Because this starts at zero, when we start counting, um, then, I mean, if I wanted to start at one, I guess, but that one, then this wouldn't work here. Okay, I'd have to put count minus one down here because when we do char at, it starts at zero. So make sure you never put an equal sign when you're using word length. All right, that is, I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing. I'm gonna stop recording.